In today's video, I am taking a look at Thomas Heaton's brand new photo book and explaining why having these can be crucial for your own photography. So this arrived this morning. I actually pre-ordered it a couple of months ago, I think, which does mean that I get one of the uh, one of the signed versions, which I'm I'm pretty sure that's real and not printed on. I think that's real. But I did want to talk just a little bit specifically about the book itself because it is really, really nice. So Thomas Heaton, if you don't already know, is a very successful landscape photography YouTuber. His channel has got hundreds of thousands of subscribers and he's taken beautiful photos all over the world. He's a great presenter and great video producer as well. So if you don't already subscribe to his channel, then head over there, give him a subscribe. This is around, I think, 109 pages, and it's got some of his best work from sweeping beaches to grand mountain landscapes, and also including some like close-up detail work. He gives great stories behind each image as well, including some bits that aren't in his videos. And at the end, he's also got this QR code bit where you can scan the code and then go and see the specific YouTube video where he's taking each photo, which I think is just a really, really nice touch. But I'm not going to go into too much detail or show you every single page because it is, of course, for you to go and buy. And it's that point that I did want to talk more about. The world is, of course, in a very difficult time during COVID. Economies are slowing down and artists and creatives everywhere are really struggling. Freelancers are having jobs cancelled and companies are commissioning less work and just doing less with marketing. So it's a really difficult time to be a photographer. Now that means that now more than ever is the time to really support those artists that you love. If you like a photographer and you like their work, then buy their books, buy their prints, buy whatever it is that they're doing, engage with them in a way that is going to help support them. Now, of course, they're not charities that just need handouts, but Maybe there's a, a local artist whose work you've seen at a craft fair, but you haven't yet got round to buying that print, or maybe it's a, a lovely handmade vase or a carved bit of wood or something. Now is a really good time to go and find where the artist is selling from and actually go and get that piece. Now, by the way, I'm not including myself in this in any way. I am not freelance and mercifully my work with CBS has pretty much been unaffected, for which, of course, I'm extremely grateful. If you want to give back to my channel, then tell some friends who might be interested to help me grow it. But if you've got money to spend, go and find the artists that you really like who are relying on those sales and actually invest in their work. But there is another argument that I don't really want to go into too much detail right now, but about the general devaluing of photography as an art form. With everyone having a camera in their pocket, and then with major stock sites like uh, Pexel and Unsplash that literally give photographers work away for free for commercial use with zero guaranteed reward for that photographer, it is becoming harder and harder for photographers, pro photographers, to actually earn enough money they need to survive and put food on their table. Now, of course, just buying our book is not going to change that, but it does at least show that people are willing to pay for artwork and it will maybe help the artists that you're supporting keep on doing what it is that they're doing. But the other thing that's so important about having books just like this goes back to a point that I make again and again on this channel, education. The more you study other photographers, the more you immerse yourself in the pictures they're taking and in the processes they're using, the more you can learn and the more you become inspired to go and get your own shots. In Tom's book, he shows you some incredible locations and tells you a lot about how it is that he actually got each of those images. Now, his intention, I'm pretty sure, is not to give you a recipe to follow word for word to make you go and stand in exactly the same location on the same mountain at the same time of day and use the same settings to get the same picture, but instead to inform you about how he thinks about his photography, the processes that he uses, so that you can take that on board, use those similar processes when you approach your own work so that when you're in a scene, you're better equipped to take great images. 
Even as a professional photographer myself with over a decade of experience, barely a day goes by when I'm not trying to learn something new or just try and sharpen up my skills or even just spending some time messing about in Photoshop trying to learn some new techniques. And the reason is, is that photography is a constant process. There is no end point. You can't complete photography. Even the masters of this world can still learn new techniques or try new ideas. If you really want to develop as a photographer, then you need to learn everything you can. And getting beautiful photo books like this is both a great way to get inspired and help the photography community at large. And the same, of course, goes for learning from photography videos on YouTube. And I have spoken at length before about some of the channels I use, as well as some great learning resources like Flurn and Creative Live. There has never been more information available to help you take better photos. And while we're still in this period of time when your summer holidays are getting canceled and all your visiting family plans have all gone down the pan, then it's an amazing time to take that time you would have maybe been away sending yourself on a beach and instead invest it in learning more about photography and reading books like this, getting inspired by the work which is out there so that when you can start exploring these amazing landscapes again, you are really, really well armed with amazing knowledge to help you take some incredible photos. All of which probably means I have waffled on for far too long in a video which can probably be summarized in this is a good book, you should go and buy it. But hopefully this video has been helpful or just made you think about ways that you can uh, help engage with some of the artists that you do really like. If you have enjoyed this video, do please hit that like button. Please, please do hit that subscribe button if you don't already. And I will see you next time.